After a week of bad news for local school districts, which included teacher cuts and school closures, tonight there is some good news. East Noble School Corporation in Kendallville is cutting a million dollars from its budget, but teachers are staying put. News Channel 15's Chris Hopper is Fort Wayne's only TV reporter dedicated to education news. He told us this was possible back in January. That's right, Heather. East Noble realigned its schools this time last year. District officials had no idea Governor Daniels' cuts were coming, but they hoped their forethought would pay off like it is now. We really felt, based on the economy, that it was going to get tight. That anticipation has the East Noble School Corporation sitting in a very enviable position. So how are district officials able to save teachers in the midst of a major budget shortfall? Part of that's because we tried to be proactive. Uh, we planned ahead last spring. We restructured by closing an elementary, bringing three middle schools into one building, so that helped save us money up front. Closing Layato Elementary was an unpopular decision. Throughout the corporation, things that we could cut back on without closing our school. Our administration costs are just too high. Now many of those people are changing their tune. That's because the district didn't have to cut any teachers. They have said what, it, what would have happened if we didn't make, you know, do the restructuring. So they have been happy, yes. The realignment generated a million dollars in savings. Without it, at least 14 teachers would be out of a job. That helps the morale in the, in the district that we're able to keep those people. East Noble still had to make over a million dollars in cuts this year. The district saved over 740000 by getting rid of nine instructional assistants and using other funds to pay for teacher salaries. In July, East Noble will save another 522000 by eliminating nine positions through retirement and attrition. Hope for the best, but plan for the worst, and that's what we'll do. For a complete breakdown of last year's realignment and this year's cuts, go to the education page of Wayne.com. Chris Hopper, News Channel 15.